Hello everyone. Today I wanted to go into a little more detail on two of the beachy tropical floral fragrances that I've been really enjoying lately. The first one I have here is Intense Tiare by Montal and I've also got a travel size which I've just about gone through of Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on these fragrances please keep watching. Intense Tiare by Montal. I will go through the notes to start with and then tell you what the wearing experience is like for me. We have Tiare flower, coconut, vanilla, ylang ylang, jasmine and rose. I mostly get the florals up front, particularly what I assume is the, um, the Tiare and a lot of ylang ylang. That's mostly what I get. I've, I wore this for days on end, so I'm quite familiar with it now. And yeah, you can't really tease out the other florals like the jasmine and the rose. It's, it's a floral bomb. It's a very loud floral, particularly yellow floral, ylang ylang and tiare flower. The coconut to me is more in the background, as is the vanilla. Both are definitely there though. It's a very linear fragrance, as in it stays the same, no development. And on Fragranica, they just list those six notes. There's no top, mid and base. I get four or five hours from this and it projects very strongly for two to three hours. I love it. I love it in the right setting. Holiday, summer holiday, beach, summer date night, and any kind of warm weather party family get together, I think this would be great. It's not one I'd wear where I was going to be in very close proximity inside with other people because it is so loud. It is so loud. I'd describe, that to me it's quite different. I've got a bunch of these beachy sun tan lotion floral fragrances. Nothing I have is quite like this. I don't have anything where the floral, the yellow florals are this loud and quite like this there's almost a sourness, a slight sourness to intense TRA that I think is a combination of how the coconut is done with the yellow florals. It's intoxicating, it's addictive. My partner really liked it when I wore it. And yeah, as I say, it is happy, it is uplifting, it makes me feel like I'm on holiday. And because I wore this so much when I was on holiday, it, I have those memories and it will bring back the, the cruise holiday we had. That is Intense Tiare by Montal. The other tropical floral that I really enjoyed, as you can see, I've almost gone through this 10 mil travel, is Utopia, try that again, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21 by Kayali. This is way more subtle than Intense Tiare. It's in the same family. It is beachy, floral, coconut and vanilla, but it's much more subdued and more so it's much more refined. I'll just bring up the notes of this one. So we have coconut milk, honeysuckle, pear blossom, Italian lemon, tuberose, jasmine, sandback, bagine, gardenia, ambrette, bourbon vanilla, sandalwood, musk and patchouli in the base. This one is stunningly beautiful. Like a number of the Kaalis, when I first tried this, it seemed too light to me. It just seemed too light wearing. I'm going to pop it on skin. 
but I've grown to love a number of those more light wearing Kaalis. This one, as, as I say, it is beautiful, truly beautiful. There's complexity to it. As you can see, a bunch of notes. What I mostly get, I think, I mostly get florals. So I mostly get the Jasmine Sandback. I mostly get white florals and coconut and musk and vanilla. Yeah, the patchouli is very dialed back. It's not prominent in this. So we're talking about Utopia Vanilla Cocoa by Kaali. The issue with this one is it doesn't last long. It doesn't last long on the skin at all. Really in warm beachy weather, two hours from two hours out of this outside warm beachy weather, two hours tops. Yeah, it doesn't last long. Which is why I think something, and, and sorry, it doesn't last long. And the projection is intimate, very small, less than arm's length scent bubble very intimate but i think that's all on purpose like this is a refined sophisticated summer floral in intensity and complexity it's the complete opposite of something like intense tiara by montal this is way more complex there's a journey to this one. The dry down of this one is heavenly. I think where I enjoyed this the most, where it had better longevity, was when I wore it to bed because inside I think it's more designed for that. It lasts longer. Outside on the beach, I think that's where we need, you know, Montal, Mansara, maybe even alien goddess, those kind of things are going to have more projection, more longevity. Utopia Vanilla Cocoa is stunningly beautiful. It doesn't last long. It doesn't project a lot. It is so beautiful, however, that come the next Sephora sale, I would be tempted to get a bottle of this. I'd be tempted to get a big bottle of this because because it's so light wearing, I'd want the big one to be able to spray it a lot. We'll see, we'll see, because that longevity is an issue, right? Like I'd encourage everyone to smell Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. There's nothing as beautiful in terms of this type of beachy, tropical coconut and floral. The coconut in this is more to the front than intense TRA for sure. One of the reasons I'm not in a hurry to get this is there's another one I have here. And I won't speak a lot about this. I've sp spoken about this one recently. This is Kayad Alpha Sun Unlimited. I didn't take this on holiday. I didn't decant it. But since I've been back, I've sprayed it, worn it, like it is, it is a tiny fraction of the cost of Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. I really like this. I really like this. It's nowhere near as complex, but in terms of in terms of a co coconutty, delicious, evocative of the beach, Kayad Alpha Sun, El Alpha Sun. And I, I, get, I get florals in this as well. I get whitish kinds of florals in this too. Gosh, let's try. Yeah, this is, not as, this is not as mass appealing. It's nowhere near as pretty as Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, but it meets a need in the interim. And this is another one I've been enjoying wearing to wind down in the warm weather of an evening. But I'll put that one back and we'll return to Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. I'm so glad I, I got this to try it, to try it. 
I really think it's one of the most beautiful Kaali scents. And it's also just a very beautiful tropical floral coconut vanilla scent. As it dries down, it's thoroughly delicious. The base with the bourbon vanilla, really, really good, but very, very intimate in its projection. I hope you liked that little look at those two and almost three beachy florals, coconut scents. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.